then we started to see this v1 of logic apps i'm not sure v1 was actually ever released it came later after azure biz talk services it had a lot of interesting features to it so connectors such as like the sql connector and stuff like that you had to self-host these connectors so you had to deploy an instance of the connector kind of to your logic app container and then kind of use these deployed resources you couldn't just grab a connector and go like you can today uh, this then turned into what we call v2 this is what we think of as consumption-based logic apps today it was very simple it was the serverless model so it was pay per use this was really thought of as uh, this so this is what came out kind of seven years ago was this release of the logic apps so this was kind of thought of as pay-per-use model that clients would really like. It was nice because if you created logic apps and then they were only called once or twice a day, you only paid a fraction of pennies for each of those executions in general for their logic apps. Your connectors were now Microsoft hosted, Microsoft managed connectors, so you didn't have to deploy them out anymore. And it made it really nice and able to use a bunch of different connectors. And then Microsoft was responsible for updating and maintaining those connectors. So that was good.